What's up guys, my name is Ryan Shirley and today I want to show you my favorite places in the beautiful country of Belize. So here's my Belize top 10. Belize is one of my all time favorite countries I've been to. It is one of the most colorful and diverse places I've ever seen. I lived here for over a year when I was a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I've been back several times since. It's home to the second largest coral reef system in the world. It's full of animals, crystal clear waters, and ancient ruins. It is just such a cool place. So to start this off, we're gonna head over to the impressive ancient ruins of Zunantinich. Now Zunantinich is about a two hour drive from the airport. It's one of the most impressive and easily accessible ruins in Belize. So it costs about $10 to get in. And when we got there, we hiked over and got on the very top of the pyramid. When you're on top, you have this just massive view of the surrounding area. You're able to see for miles. It is just so beautiful. It's over a few hundred feet high. It's just really cool. Um, after when we were on top, we hiked down to the bottom and I heard this horrifying noise in the jungle. Turns out it was howler monkeys and it literally sounds like something out of Jurassic Park. Down at the bottom, they have these massive green grass fields surrounded by these ancient ruins. And uh, I did some like flips some splits and stuff and ran around with my friends and it was just a great time. I'd highly recommend visiting Zunantinich. It's one of my favorite places in Belize. All right, so after Zunantinich, we're gonna head over to the Blue Hole. Now in Belize, there's two Blue Holes, the Great Blue Hole in the ocean, which we'll talk about later, but there's also a Blue Hole in the jungle. So it's located about 20 minutes from the capital city of Belmopan. The drive there is absolutely beautiful. You're gonna drive through the mountains with this crazy vegetation. You'll get to the Blue Hole. It's just a short hike down. And what it is, it's this pool in the jungle. And the water comes from an underground cave. The water is blue like Gatorade. I put on some goggles and I decided to dive down. I went down about 20 feet and I got pretty scared because it just goes pitch black. Came up to the top. Me and my friends, we had a good time just playing around in the water. If you follow the stream, the water will take you down to another cave. And this cave is super cool too. We were able to get some really cool cinematic shots in the cave and just had a good time. Right next to the blue hole, there's actually a cave called St. Herman's Cave. You can literally just walk down there. You don't really need a guide. And we went pretty deep into the cave. It was pretty cool. We didn't have very good flashlights, but we went as far as we could, and it was just a really cool time. One thing I do recommend is make sure you have bug spray because my legs got eaten alive by those mosquitoes. All right, so after the blue hole, we're gonna head over to one of my favorite cliff jumping spots in Belize, to Big Rock Falls. So Big Rock Falls, it's about an hour drive from the town of San Ignacio. Make sure you have a four wheel drive car to get there because you're gonna be driving on bumpy dirt roads. When you get there, it's just this massive waterfall in the middle of nowhere. Me and my friends, we swam in the water and we found some ledges to jump off of. This water felt so nice because it's just so hot and humid in Belize. After we decided we we're gonna go swim over to the waterfall and I wanted to find a place to cliff jump, so made sure the water was deep enough and I found this ledge and I was able to throw some backflips off of it. I had my friends, Keith and McKay, jump off it as well. And after we headed on top of the waterfall and found some really cool pools to hang out and we enjoyed our time there. So this is what definitely one of my favorite swimming locations in Belize. And if you have a car that can get you there, I highly recommend going. So after Big Rock Falls, we're gonna head over to 1000 Foot Falls. This is just a 20 minute drive from Big Rock Waterfalls. What this is, is literally, it's just this waterfall that's, they claim to be over a thousand feet high. What I really liked about this place is that you're at a high elevation where there's pine trees. It's not super hot. We were there for sunset and it was just absolutely beautiful to look over the beautiful landscape. The guy that lived there told us some stories about how there's jaguars that he's seen up there, which I thought was pretty crazy. So after 1,000 foot falls, we're gonna head over to San Pedro. Now to get to San Pedro, you can either fly over there or you can take a water taxi. Now I recommend the water taxi because it's cheaper and it's also a really cool experience. So it costs about $30 round trip to do the water taxi. And I think it's about 90 minutes to get to San Pedro. You can chill inside the boat or you can also get on top of the boat and check out the amazing views. You're gonna pass a bunch of really cool islands 
and the water is so blue i've seen dolphins jumping when i was on this boat so it's pretty cool anyways you get to san pedro and san pedro is just a really cool town just this island surrounded by beautiful blue water really colorful houses so really cool place where a lot of people go to vacation now to get around san pedro i definitely recommend getting a golf cart so one of my favorite places on san pedro is called secret beach anyways to get to secret beach you're gonna to need to drive on these dirt roads through this mangrove swamp and you get to the west side. And what's really cool about Secret Beach is that the water is completely clear and flat. Like it is just perfect. Me and my friends, we hung out in the water, swam around, had a good time. When I was there, I stayed at the Paradise on the K Hotel. Really cool place, really colorful houses. And we rented one of their canoes and we canoed out to this island, probably about half a mile away. And it was pretty cool because we were the only ones there. We had a good time on the island and then we paddled on back. But anyways, Seeger Beach is just a fun place. Really cool vibe there. There's restaurants, music, and it's just a good time. So after Secret Beach, we're gonna head over to the Hol Chan Marine Reserve. If you love snorkeling and swimming, you have to do this. You're gonna need a tour guide to go there. And we found our tour guide in San Pedro and it cost us about $30 per person. We got on his boat and he took us out on about a 30 minute boat ride and we came to the Hol Chan Marine Reserve. We jumped off the boat and we swam in some of the clearest water I've ever been in. It was so cool. The reef was so colorful. There were so many fishes. I saw stingrays, turtles, I even saw a barracuda. Then we got back on the boat and our tour guide, he took us to Shark Ray Alley. And this is famous because there's a bunch of nurse sharks. We jumped off when we saw the nurse sharks. A lot of people are scared when they hear the word shark, but nurse sharks are pretty calm and they do not bite. So don't worry. It's definitely one of my favorite activities to do with Belize and I highly recommend doing it. So one of my favorite local places in San Pedro is their basketball court. Now what's so cool about this basketball court is it's right on the ocean. The court itself is so colorful and then with the surrounding ocean, it just creates an awesome vibe. So when me and my friends went there, we actually played a pickup game with the local kids of the island and we just had a blast playing some basketball with those guys. There's also a little bridge right next to the basketball court and me and some of the local kids, we jumped off of the bridge into the water. So after the basketball court, we're gonna head over to one of the most iconic places in Belize, to the Great Blue Hole. Now when you think about Belize, this is what a lot of people think of. It's this giant hole that's in the middle of the ocean. It's located on the Lighthouse Reef. It's over 1,000 feet wide and over 400 feet deep. So to get there, you can take a tour boat from San Pedro. I hear it's a long two to three hour ride over bumpy seas. If you're not into boat rides you can take a plane to get the view of the blue hole and that costs about $230. The Great Blue Hole is one of the most unique locations on the earth and I hope you can visit one day. So after the blue hole we're gonna head over to Key Cocker. Now Key Cocker is right next to San Pedro. You can get there by taking the water taxi. It's a small five mile island with the highest elevation of eight feet high. In 1961 Hurricane Haiti split the island in two, so there's a channel that runs between the North and the South Island. When I was there, me and my friends swam across the channel. It was a good time, a little scary. I also saw a lionfish in the mangroves there, so that was pretty cool. It's a much more slow paced island compared to San Pedro. The sunsets there are absolutely stunning with cotton candy skies and blue water. It's definitely a beautiful place you should visit. For our last location, we're gonna head over to Tikal. Now this is the only location that's not in Belize, but I'd recommend doing it. It's in Guatemala, so to get there, we went to the Belize-Guatemalan border, Benque, and then we found ourselves a car driver on the other side, and he took us over to Tikal. Uh, we got to Tikal, and Tikal is one of the most impressive ruins in the world. Movies like Star Wars have been filmed here. Just really cool, really cool place. So. If you are feeling like extra adventure, go send it to Guatemala and visit T-Call. So that is it for my Belize Top 10. I'd like to make a special thanks to Brady Bagalki for letting me use his drone footage. He made an awesome video about how to travel Belize. I'd highly recommend watching it if you plan on traveling to Belize. There are tons of good travel chips in his video that help you have a great vacation. I'd also like to thank Gus Hutchinson for letting me use his drone footage from the Blue Hole. He made an awesome edit about his dive to the incredible location. So go check that out. Some other places that I didn't mention in the video that you should visit is Caracol. It's this crazy ruins way deep in the forest. Lamoni, another awesome ruins. Placencia. Um, it's a beautiful town, Belize Zoo, and plenty more. Belize has a special place in my heart, and I hope you all can visit one day. 
It's Ryan, and we will see you later. Oh, baby. Let me show you. I need one more.